Doctors fix things. I would actively work to change us for the better, to protect our families. John Fetterman will push us further to the radical left. Those are the opening statements you would have heard from me if John Fetterman had not ducked out of tonight's debate. The first of five debates offered to us by major media companies that my campaign has accepted. Today we've got a clear decision. John Fetterman is either healthy and he's dodging the debates because he does not want to answer for his radical left positions or he's too sick to participate in the debate. I've asked Senator Pat Toomey to join us today. John Fetterman and I are applying for his job. He knows more than anybody else about what's required to be a senator from this Commonwealth. And he has strong sentiments about the need for voters to hear what candidates stand for. The need for candidates to answer questions from the voters, from the press, and on a debate stage. This is a story about Dr. Oz and his issue with debates with John Fetterman, who's been um, publicly beating him up when mm -hmm. it comes to uh, this race for the Senate. Now, Dr. Oz here, as I was saying, I'm 85, 85, 80, 80 percent on board with Fetterman's side on this. Um, but I think this is a story between politics versus um, your approach in doing so. Uh, so Oz is upset that John Fetterman missed a debate because of his medical issues. Huh, let's go to some more details because the Fetterman campaign did respond to these accusations that he made uh, and he responded in this way. He goes, I'm eager to put my record and my values up against Dr. Oz's any day of the week. He said this in a statement on Tuesday. As I recover from the stroke and improve my auditory processing and speech, I look forward to continuing to meet with the people of Pennsylvania. He also added that a list of debate concessions from Oz's campaign team earlier in the day made it abundantly clear they think it's funny to mock a stroke survivor. That's where Dr. Oz is being a complete idiot. He continues down this road. This is how they continue to, to belittle him. Uh, they said it would it, uh, it would pay for any additional medical personnel that Fetterman might need to have on standby. In addition to permitting him bathroom breaks and allowing him to have all of his notes on hand, along with an earpiece to obtain answers from his staff. Uh, so then Fetterman responded, says, my recovery may be a joke to Dr. Oz and his team, but it's real for me. So Dr. Oz, again, uh, as we know, he's a celebrity TV doctor. He challenged Fetterman, this Democratic front runner, to five debates this month to boost his chances of catching up with him while also highlighting his health challenges months after he suffered that stroke. So his spokesperson, Brittany Yannick, responded to Fetterman's decision to not debate on this first one and called him a liar, a liberal, and a coward. And she said this, okay, so when will he debate? He won't ever say, not even in his latest whiny statement. Uh, Francesca, this is, uh, you can push someone, this is my opinion now, you can mm -hmm. push someone that's your opponent who's been whooping your ass all over the place. Mm -hmm. You can push them and say, hey, why aren't you debating? Hey, why are you ducking me? How come you're dodging me? But in this particular situation, you might want to do it in a way that points out, yes, we understand he has his medical issues. Uh, when is he going to be back? But let's think about whether or not he can carry out and do this job, not because we're mad at him, not because we think it's a horrible situation, not because we think that he's faking and a liar and all this stuff. What's he lying about when, when it comes to that spokesperson statement? It sounds like you're still attacking based off of his medical condition and not based off of anything political. And I'm not sure why anyone hasn't uh, <laughs> clued him in yet. I mean, honestly, it, it is a serious thing to suffer and recover from a stroke. It takes years for some people to recover from a stroke. I'm surprised that John Fetterman is even out on the campaign trail. Yeah. And and again, politically, obviously, I want this guy to win. I'm openly biased about that. I think someone with working class values uh, who actually cares about the working class is absolutely what Pennsylvania needs, not Dr. Crudite Oz. That being said, um, you know, I do think it's a concern, but you know that Mehmet Oz is not coming at this from a place of actual concern. It's complete bad faith, and it is every right for the Fetterman team to take a break. He's being honest. This is a heart surgeon he's going up against. Of all people, Dr. Oz should know, yeah, sometimes you have to relearn how to speak a little bit. You have to do rehabilitation. That makes all the sense. Five debates.
Come on. Do you really want to see Fetterman kick your butt in five debates, <laughs> Dr. Oz? I don't think anyone wants to see that. We don't need five debates. You're clearly baiting him because you want him to stumble a little bit and then replay it a million times in television ads. Well, this is also the point, by the way. You can, as you point out, he's a doctor. Dr. Oz should know some of this stuff. That actually makes it worse. Because in order to be a Republican candidate, at least what he's seen and probably is correct on this, is you can't be normal and straightforward. You have to be vicious. You have to attack. You can't say, I would like to have debates with John Fetterman, but his health is failing him right now. I'm not sure how we can go forward. Instead, it's how dare he, what a liar, this lib liar loser. What's he talking about? Like, bro, this, no, he's already beating you. This is not how you come back. People right. want to like you. That's very unlikable, uh, uh, unlikable approach. But again, you have to please your rabid base. And if your rabid base is all about viciousness, you gotta be vicious, then you lose, hopefully.